Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for January. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now keep in mind this is being recorded on December 17th, but this reading is for January. So if you're watching this in December, January hasn't happened yet. So I need to just reiterate that. We get a lot of people who watch their readings when they first come out and they, I just need to reiterate this reading is for January, okay? It may resonate now, but I urge you to watch it in January. Okay? Scorpio. I already done a couple of December readings for you guys, so feel free. I'll tag one of them at the end of this. Scorpio. Ooh. You could be in a one-sided situation with a Leo. Just saying. One of you may have feelings, one of you may not. I don't know, but there's a lack of courage, there's a lack of strength, there's a lack of uh, willpower to let go of something, and somebody isn't getting what they deserve when there is another opportunity, but you got to see it. If you refuse to see it and you don't have the willpower or the force within you to let something go, well, you might not see the other opportunity, right? There's a lack of victory and success with somebody, Okay. And there's a lack of victory and success because there's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of um, ability to give up on something that doesn't serve you. It's like there's, there's no desire to let it go. And I don't know what this is, but something needs to be released. I don't know what it is. Yep, there's the release. There's the, that is what the meaning of the card means. There's no fight left. There's no reason to fight for something that has no more growth it has no more life left in it you're holding on for dear life you're holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to and you're not making a wise decision you need to it's time to make a decision it's time to decide but there's fear of change and I think that you're indecided undecided you're probably going back and forth back and forth you know should I put in more effort to this should I keep trying well I'm telling you that you should give it up whatever it is that you're hanging on to because it's not really serving you it's one-sided and you deserve more keep in mind that this reading is not for every person it's for somebody if it's for you great but it may not be I think that you're waiting for something to change and it's not going to change. You're wasting your time. When you have a better opportunity, it's absolutely clear that you have a better opportunity if you could just see it. But you're refusing to see it, right? You're refusing to broaden your horizons and start over in a new direction. This is for somebody. I don't know who. Somebody's not being practical. Waiting, waiting for something. You're waiting for an apology. You're waiting for somebody to come back around. They're not coming. You could be dealing with somebody who's just not invested at all in this situation. And it's time for you to evolve. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to begin again. This is a card of newness. It really is. It's time for you to allow a new beginning allow a new fresh start and now allow this transition to happen it is a time of transition it's a time of healing it's time to bring balance back to your life it's time for you to go through this renewal that they're trying to put you through but it's like somebody's trying to stop it from happening you may be trying to escape it for some reason. Therefore, you're not getting the wish fulfillment that you truly, truly, truly deserve. There's lack of awareness here. You may, you may feel, and there's lack of faith, and maybe you don't have faith in a new beginning when you should. Everything happens for a reason. It's like people get, I would say, I'm not get eclipsed or removed from your life to bring you something bigger and better. You should be considering this a blessing. It really is a blessing. But somebody isn't seeing it as it really is, refusing to see the truth of what it really is when 
something was is being removed or has been removed from your life because you deserve so much more. I don't know what this is, but somebody has a holding on to somebody that they shouldn't or a situation that is not going to fulfill them, okay? You're holding on to something that is not going to fulfill you. And it's, a t it's time to evolve. It's time to transition. It's time to transform and get the blessing that you truly deserve. But holding on to something that really needs to be let go of is not going to give you what you deserve. It's, it's time to transition. I think you guys have been patiently waiting for somebody to return. I'm here to tell you. I mean, I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody's been waiting for somebody to return or somebody to change their mind, you know? This person isn't going to change their mind. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, um, an Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's time for you to go out and have fun. It's time for you to, you know receive it's time for you to heal it's time for you to release again it is and maybe you know you're hindering your own progress by keep thinking that you that this person's going to come back this person's going to come back or you need to go back you need to go back stop thinking that way you've started the healing process but then you go back Keep going. Forgiveness is needed. This is a card of forgiveness. It's time to leave the past hurts behind and enjoy yourself and go have fun. If you haven't been dating because you're holding on to somebody that you shouldn't be holding on to, get out there and date. You have a better, solid, stable opportunity waiting for you. You do. But you got to get past that betrayal. You got to get past that hurt. You need to break free. You need to let something end that's over. Let the pain fall away. You have a better opportunity. But you have to listen. You have to understand that everything happens for a reason. This was part of the script. Whatever happened, happened for a reason. To wake you up. It was part of your spiritual journey. It had to happen the way it did. It was part of the script. And now it's time to find yourself again. You know, maybe it's it's time for you to d dig really deep. Go deep, 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 deep within. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Open your heart again. Open your heart again. Whatever ended, whatever broke apart was absolutely a blessing. It was false. It wasn't ever stable. It needed to crash. It needed to crash so that you could get what you deserve. But you weren't getting what you were deserving. And now it's time for you to come out of this darkness and see the light again. See the light. Whoever left you out in the cold wasn't meant to be. You have a better opportunity. You keep looking back. You keep looking back. It's hurting you. This person brought conflict into your life anyway. You're being unrealistic living in this situation. It's dead. It's over. Let it go. 
that relationship is over and you have an opportunity for a new one. Whoever it's with, you have a new opportunity waiting, a new relationship. This one had to break down because you, I'm telling you what, you have something better. You do have something better, but you got to stop concentrating on the loss. You need to enjoy life. Work on yourself. Get yourself back to where you need to be. Once you are ready, this new opportunity will present itself and it's going to be the golden opportunity that you can take to the bank. But you've got to stop looking back. It's clear that you guys keep looking back. You keep looking back at something and it's hindering. It's hindering your wish fulfillment. You have to release it, that notion, that thought that I know this is the one. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let go of that. Please let go of that. The universe has a plan. The universe has a plan. You're wasting your time holding on to something that's not coming in. You have a better opportunity. Please listen. Please listen. Something that is going to be more solid, stable, and long-term. Very long-term. Something abundant. Something that you can build with. But if you don't know your worth, then nobody else will either. Oh, God. You're not allowing growth. You're not nurturing yourself. You're not putting yourself where you need to be. Trying to chase an opportunity that's not there. You could be dealing with a selfish individual who doesn't even care about your feelings. You're worth more than that, don't you think? You need to walk away and don't look back from whoever it is that is hindering you from your growth, hindering you from your wish fulfillment. This person's walked away from you, whoever this reading is for. And now it's time for your new beginning. It's time for you to step over that finish line so that you can have victory and success, so that you can have this new start that you deserve. Something is over. It's over. It's done. This cycle that you have held on to for dear life is over. And it's time to step over that finish line and begin a new journey, a new phase, a long-term phase that is going to bring you a golden opportunity. It's going to have stability. It's going to be long-term. It's going to be abundant. It's going to fulfill you more than you could have even thought, but you don't see it right now. Eventually, you're going to have to walk away and you're going to have to leave it. Why are you, why are you wasting your time here? Hanging on to whatever it is that you're hanging on to. You're only betraying yourself more than anybody. There's no victory and success with whatever it is that you're hanging on to. But there's an opportunity for victory and success the moment you step over that finish line. So in January, it looks as though you guys are probably in, going to make a decision. To give up on a, a, a situation. No more desire. Because you have a new, better opportunity. So I think you may choose the new opportunity. I pray to God. I hope that you do. I hope that you do. Because you have a new, passionate beginning. Like right here. Where somebody could really light your fire. Take it. Take that new opportunity. A new flame. A new spark. A new fire. A new partnership. Take it. And run. Run. Whoever it is that you have been holding on to, they don't have any desire to make it work. Let them go. You have somebody better, more passionate, with growth. Like right here. Take the new opportunity. Take it. Could lead to a lot of happiness and commitment. Soulmate connection. But this is somebody new. It absolutely is. But if you want to continue to live in misery, continue to hang on to the one that doesn't reciprocate. 
you have an opportunity for happiness. Take it. <sighs> now, doesn't that look beautiful? An opportunity to rise again and be happy. If you haven't met this person, you might meet them at a gathering. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. If you haven't met this person yet, you could meet this person at a gathering. Um, you know, it could be any kind of gathering. It could be a New Year's Eve party. It could be a Christmas gathering. Could Because this is being recorded in December. It could be any kind of gathering where there's a bunch of people. You meet this person and sparks fly and you've been holding on to the past and you're like, oh no, if I really, if I jump into this, then I really have to let go of the past. But I'm telling you, just let the past go because the past ain't, past ain't reciprocating. You have an opportunity for a successful, new, passionate beginning with somebody else. Please take it. Take it. You are becoming consciously aware, and I think that you are. You're going through some sort of awakening, and I think you're in the process of releasing this person. You are making progress. You are. Don't look back. Don't look back, please. Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. Do you understand? Be willing to allow yourself. Allow somebody to take you by the hand. Allow somebody to love you. Allow somebody to help you. Allow somebody to be in your life. Stop holding on to the one who's not reciprocating because you got a better, more passionate, long-term, wonderful opportunity here. Take it. Good luck. 